Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you how to write a structural VHDL code for 224 decoder. In the previous video, I have explained the uh, details of decoder, how to construct a 224 decoder, and uh, we have also seen the data flow and behavioral model of the 224 decoder. Now, for any type of uh, code, whether it is a data flow, structural, or uh, behavioral model first of all we should start with two statements library and package so the library function is library i triple e library i triple e this should be the starting line for any type of vhdl code any type of vhdl code later we are taking packages depends upon the usage of functions inside the program so use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all. This is the basic package where the gating everything is there inside the package one one six four. And also we will consider here use IEEE use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned arithmetic such type of packages can also be considered okay this is not much required unsigned is not much required depends on the usage we can consider okay this is optional this is optional now entity entity decoder 224 decoder 224 is decoder 224 is so uh, how many ports and what are the inputs and what are the outputs of this one 224 decoder so if you take a 224 decoder simple logic diagram we have two input lines along with that one enable pin along with an enable pin so this is the enable pin and these are the two input lines i0 i1 depends on the combination depends on the combination i0 i1 the corresponding output will be activated so we have four outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 and this is 2 to 4 so if, suppose if it is 0 0 then 0th pin is activated nothing but y0 is activated and remaining three are zeros if it is 0 1 first pin y1 is activated remaining are zero so it depends upon the uh, decimal value of this uh, input functions i0 i1 the corresponding output will be activated and remaining are zeros it all happens when uh, enable pin is uh, 1 and if enable pin is equal to 0 irrespective of the inputs output is simply 0 okay so for that we are taking enable enable in std underscore logic std underscore logic and i is of input which is also input mode std underscore logic underscore it is a vector of size 2 bit so 1 down to 0 1 down to 0 and 4 outputs are there y out std logic vector of 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 this is port and decoder 224 this is what the part of entity so in the entity we are completely focusing on we are completely focusing on the inputs and as well as outputs the inputs and as well as outputs okay now now coming to the structural model so architecture architecture decoder some structural of decoder 224 decoder underscore 2 by 4 is is see first we are writing depends on the type of this programming method 
we should consider the inside uh, behavior of the architecture as we are writing structural code here in the structural code we have to first instantiate the components which are required for the implementation of this particular logic diagram See in this logic diagram, the expressions for the y0, y1, y2, y3 are a part of the inputs i0 and i1. So we need a not gate, and gate for this program. Not gates and and gate because y0 is and operation among these three i0, i1, i3. Suppose for example, I if y0 wants to be 1 for y0 wants to be activated the combination will be i0 bar i1 bar into enable that means when i0 i1 both are zeros and enable is equal to 1 then output y0 is equal to 1 okay and similarly similarly y1 is equal to i1 uh, i0 i1 bar enable y2 is equal to i0 bar i1 enable so y3 is equal to i0 i1 enable okay now we are going to get this type of expression from the gating method okay so for these operations what what we need which gates we need not gate we need and as well as and gate we need so for that we have to consider the components and gate and as well as not gate so component component some and gate component and gate is port of some a b c because it is three input and gate and in std underscore logic output some y out std underscore logic and component and component you can also add component name else you can close this next what what is the other component we need not gate so component not gate not underscore gate is port of some pq in std logic sorry it is not get means only one input so p q std q is out std underscore logic and not get okay so gates are instantiated now see before begin before begin uh, all components should be instantiated before the begin operation all components must be instantiated after that begin if when there are no components left we have to start the program begin some label first not underscore gate not underscore gate port map port map of port map of i of 0 comma uh, we are taking some signal t t of 0 okay here we have to consider uh, signal some t std underscore logic underscore vector of 1 down to 0 i will tell you what is the purpose of this one see here when you are writing y out expression y not y1 y2 y3 i may be i or i not suppose if you are taking in this expression in the first expression y not i is available as i not bar i1 bar and input is available in the second case as i not and i1 i1 bar so sometimes it is in the complemented form and sometimes it is in the true form so the complemented versions we are taking it as a t okay that is of user interest you can define any variable so here i am taking t 
so t defines the complemented version that's why here i not nothing but what do you mean by this line so this the meaning of this line is t of 0 is equal to i of 0 bar that means i not bar and similarly u2 is equal to not gate port map of i1 t1 i1 t1 not get part is completed now and operation and gate port map of and gate port map of see and operation between these three so what is this i not bar t not what is this i1 bar t1 into enable so enable t of 0 t of 1 and output is now y of 0 y of 0 hope you understand and similarly one more and gate and gate port map of enable c we have i not directly it is not i not bar if it is i not bar then we have to go for t not as it is i not directly we can take i not and it is t1 and enable so i not t1 because it is i1 bar and y of 1 u5 is equal to and gate port map of enable and now it is t of 0 i of 1 and it is y of 2 u6 is equal to and gate port map of enable directly both are in the true form so i of 0 i of 1 and y of 3 end decoder structural the name structural okay this is what the structural programming of the decoder 2 to 4 size okay we can write like this for any size just by taking the standard logic diagram if you know the standard uh, gate level diagram simply which are the gates involved in that and all those uh, gates must be instantiated like components and then we can directly write by using port map so the important thing here is we should also have we should also have the gates along with these two okay along with this particular program these two gates are also required what are they and gate is required and as well as not gate is required we know very well how to write a program vhdl program for simple and gate and uh, simple not gate just the same components you have to use whatever the uh, ports we have used here the same ports must be used there also otherwise mismatch will be there it won't work okay so components must be instantiated there also Thank you.